All right, Gina, thank you. Uh, you know, shopping for a new car, it's not always easy. And with the average cost of a new car over $48,000, obviously you want to make sure you get something right for your hard-earned money. Absolutely. So Consumer Reports put dozens of vehicles to the test and just released its annual list of 10 top on your side, Susan Campbell is here with those results. We are all ears, Susan. Yeah, $48,000 crazy. The average. That means people are spending a lot more than of that course, too, right? Yeah. So let's let's find some good options. So this top 10 list has several hybrids on it, and we want to get right into that list. So this morning we are talking with Alex Nizek. He's the manager of auto testing at Consumer Reports. You guys test a lot of vehicles. How do you actually just narrow it down to the top 10? Yeah, it's not easy, but these are all vehicles that, you know, ultimately have the highest scores in their class in our ratings. And so what that means is we put all of these vehicles through more than 50 different tests here at our test track in Colchester, Connecticut. So first and foremost, they have to be really well performing vehicles. Uh, but also we find that they have the highest owner satisfaction and reliability based on our exclusive surveys that we do with our members. And then lastly, safety is really important. All of these vehicles have standard forward collision warning and automatic emergency braking, which are proven safety features. And then, you know, at the end of it, all 10 of these vehicles are something that I would recommend or any of my colleagues would have no problem recommending to family or friends. So we already mentioned it, the average price for a new car is over $48,000, but a lot of us don't want to spend that much or can't afford to spend that much. Sure. Do you have some good budget options on this list? Yeah, thankfully, you know, we're, we're happy to say that six of the vehicles on our list this year come in below $30,000 with their starting price. And a great example of that is the Subaru Crosstrek. This is just a really, really well-rounded vehicle, and it's the first time it's made our list. It's actually one of the most researched vehicles on our site. Um, and it just, you know, now that it's been redesigned, it has those standard safety features that I mentioned, but it does other things really, really well, too. It has excellent ride quality uh, for the class that it's competing in. And then considering that it's not a hybrid, this is just a regular um, gas powered vehicle with all wheel drive, uh, it gets great fuel economy. So on top of all that, it's it's easy to use, easy to get in and out of, uh, has great visibility. So it's just a really well-rounded option that can you know do some lighter off-roading on the weekends, but also take you to the grocery store um, and come in at around $25,000 is the starting price. Okay, we like that starting price. Give us a couple more budget options. We like this yeah. theme here. Sure, sure. The uh, Toyota Camry Hybrid. This is a vehicle that's been on our list before and in a similar way is just really, really well rounded. And you're getting a hybrid powertrain from Toyota that, you know, for under that $30,000 starting price, which means you can get a, a, a car that's easy to use, comfortable um, and has great visibility and it gets over 50 miles per gallon um, combined and you can get all wheel drive. So uh, just a really cool option. And the Mazda 3 is new on the list this year. Uh, Mazda is one of these brands that a lot of people don't really think too much about compared to some others, but they tend to be a little bit more premium than their price might suggest. So it, it has a great feel to the interior. It drives well, and it also gets great fuel economy and, you know, of course, is reliable and safe. Alex, we could talk to you all day. We have about 10 seconds <laughs> left. I know high, 10 seconds left. I know hybrids are also on that list. Give us a quick 10 second pitch for the hybrids that are on here. Yeah, hybrids and plug in hybrids, they tend to be quieter, more efficient. Um, and just nicer to drive than some of their gas only counterparts. So, you know, we have uh, Toyota Prius, the, the Highlander hybrid is a three row family option if you're interested in that. Um, so there are a lot of great hybrids and you can go on the CR.org uh, website to find out, you know, if a hybrid is right for you and if it might save you some money. Awesome, Alex, thank you so much for your time and your expertise. Uh, we wanna sure. tell you small pickup truck, the Ford Maverick, and Maverick Hybrid also made that list. So, so many choices. We could talk all day about cars, course, Scott. Yes. You know we could. We love to. But we love lots to. of good, lots of good things. And we know that people rely on this list yeah. every year. Uh, very nice, Susan. Thank you.